Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.57. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. Firefighters in Cameron Parish spent nearly 24 hours putting out a massive marsh fire, putting out a massive marsh fire this weekend. This as the National Weather Service is forecasting critical fire conditions across parts of southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. Wildfires also triggered evacuations in the Spokane, Washington area and in British Columbia and the Northwest Territories in Canada over the weekend. The death toll from the Valley wildfires is expected to keep growing. Hawaii Governor Josh Green told CBS's Face the Nation 1,050 people remain missing. Hillary is bringing heavy rain and floods to Southern California and other parts of the Southwest after the storm made landfall on Mexico's California pen Peninsula as a tropical storm Sunday. Governor John Bell Edwards will be visiting Acadiana today, specifically in Evangeline Parish, to attend ribbon cuttings in both Mamu and Bill Platt. In Appaloosa's police have arrested a 41-year-old man for attempted second-degree murder after police learned he shot another man in the face. A 60-year-old Rain woman has been arrested after police say she shot a 59-year-old man outside of a family dollar store. The victim died on the way to the hospital. A Youngville man was arrested after police say he ordered food from IHOP, then pulled out a gun and demanded the worker give him the food. The suspect faces multiple charges, including armed robbery. There's a look at the out the door forecast again, extremely hot. No surprise there, but it will get breezy today. So that increases that fire danger across Acadiana as east winds start to gust over 20 miles per hour later on. And we could see a couple of these tropical showers and storms for the afternoon, but don't expect a lot. Those rain chances come up to about 20%.